Stereo to mono. Well, this subject comes to us from Ritchie in Belfast, Tennessee. Would have thought that's Ireland. <laughs> Man, if, if we don't think this country is just full of immigrants, we're all immigrants unless you're a Native American. It's the craziest thing I ever heard. Yeah, I mean, the Irish came and the Jews came and the Catholics came. I mean, you know, it's just, yeah, we're all immigrants. Get over it. Okay. Uh, can you use a stereo amplifier as a monoblock? Can you discuss bridging a stereo amplifier and or using two amps as monoblocks? And also, if there would be any benefit in just using one side of a stereo amp and using two amps of the same make as a monoblock setup. Not sure I totally get that, but let me, let me, let me explain to you about what, what all that kind of means. First off, yes, you can use a stereo amplifier to create a mono amplifier. Now, how does that work? Well, it's called a bridged amplifier, which I believe he mentioned. All right, so normally a power amplifier is an amplification stage that has a single output, which is on a power amp, usually the red terminal, the speaker terminal, the red speaker terminal, the back, right? Black is typically ground and ground on this amplifier is the same as ground going into your plug. It's the water pipe. It's, it literally goes to ground. And how it gets there, well, it could get there on the third prong of your plug or whatever. But yeah, it's ground, ground is ground the world around. <laughs> um, so, so one side is ground, and the other side is this output of your power amplifier, which is the red terminals. You've got red and black terminals, right? And you've got two of them. Well, imagine that we were able to take the left channel of our power amplifier and use it normally. Now imagine, that shouldn't be too hard to imagine, <laughs> now imagine taking the right channel, but this time flipping the phase of the input signal so that on the left, and, and it's the same signal, so I have one signal, and uh, let's call it the left channel. I put that into the left channel just as I always would. Then I take and I flip the phase. What does that mean? The phase is, easiest way to describe that is in terms of a speaker. If you look at a driver, that is in phase, when I give it a positive going uh, uh, waveform, right, so the, the voltage is going up, the, the speaker driver moves forward towards me, and as I go the other way, it pulls back, right? Back and forth, and when it does this fast, I get sound. If that speaker is out of phase, when that positive waveform comes, instead of moving out towards me, the listener, it moves back the opposite direction. That's polarity phase. Um, that is 180 degrees out of phase. Okay, you've probably heard that term of out of polarity, but doesn't matter. So in phase, as the voltage goes up, the driver moves away from me or towards me, and, uh, and the opposite happens for that same uh, waveform if it's out of phase. So we have a positive going waveform is going in this direction and a negative is going in that direction. And if the right channel has that inverted phase, as the left channel goes up, the right channel is going down, but it's the same signal, right? Now, here's the cool part. What do I do? Well, if I take my speaker and I put its inputs, you know, we have a, a, a red and a black speaker input, if I put that across the two hot terminals of my stereo amplifier between the two red terminals, ground is still ground, we don't care about that, right? Now I have the left channel as it pushes, the other one is pulling, and it's push, pull, push, pull, and it's making my speaker move in, out, in, out. The advantage is I have just doubled the voltage 
because as one's pushing, the other's pulling. So when that happens, all of a sudden, if I have a very powerful amplifier, I'm able to actually get four times the horsepower out of that thing when I do that. And that's what's called a bridged amplifier. So when we first started making power amps years ago, we, we only made, I think it was a 60 or 70 watt amplifier, but we, and people wanted bigger. So what did we do? We gave a little switch on the back if you wanted to go into bridged mode. What did bridge mode do? Just what I told you. Bridge mode just flipped the phase on one channel and fed that channel with an out of phase signal. You then, on the back of our amplifiers, you put your speaker between the two red terminals and off you go. Now today, if you were to buy uh, a new amplifier that is pre-bridged, here's where it gets a little confusing, because in the back you'll see a red terminal and a black terminal, a speaker terminal, and, and Paul just said it goes between the two red terminals. <laughs> well, that's true if you take a standard off-the-shelf stereo amplifier, that's what'll happen, but if you buy a mono amplifier, take our S300, our Stellar S300, our Stellar M700s, those are mono, well the M700 is a mono, let's just take that, it's a mono amplifier and it is bridged. But if you look on the back, you'll see a red and a black terminal. That's just so that you get the speaker moving in the right direction, because you can flip it around, right? That black terminal is just as hot and just as red as that red terminal. And it's, it's just not obvious on there, but that that is a true bridge damp, and which is why they'll tell you on the back, don't connect the black terminal to ground, because you're shorting out the output of, of the amplifier to ground. So we got off somewhere, I don't even remember where the question was. I hope that sort of gives you an idea of what's going on. All right, thanks, and uh, uh, let, let's chat tomorrow.